today we start to create the environment that I'm going to be using for the packed publishing course that I'm doing all about Python and microservices. If you didn't get the announcement that I put out, uh, then I will put a link in the description below as well as in the cards up here, all about the course. If you want to learn microservices, if you want to learn how we can uh, create microservices, design microservices, the microservice architecture, securing, monitoring, administrating the microservices, then do check out that course. But in this series, as I mentioned in the announcement, we are going to be focusing on the initial build of the application that I'm going to be talking about in that course. And today what we're going to do is the initial creation of the environment for the order management system that I'm going to be creating for that course. So obviously this is going to be done in Python. We're going to be using the Flask framework to, to build the application. And what I'm going to be doing is creating a Docker environment for the containers to live in. So. What we're going to do today is we're going to be focusing on creating the Docker containers or the first Docker container that we're going to be using for this order management system. So we need to create our containers. We're going to create the Docker file. We're going to install Python and Flask and so forth. That is what we're going to be focusing on today. So let's go right into the code and start building our Docker file. So we have the order management system here. Don't worry too much about the virtual environment. We'll be focusing on that later on. Obviously, this is uh, the local code that is on my local machine. I am using uh, a Mac for this, but of course, it's going to be done in Docker. So the actual host machine that doesn't really matter. So what I'm going to do is, first of all, we're going to create a, uh, a file. We're going to call this Docker file, like so. That is going to be our initial Docker container. Let's just get rid of that message for now. Don't worry too much about all of this uh, at the bottom here. Uh, this is PyCharm. The IDE is called PyCharm. It does have the Docker plugin enabled and all wired up. I have created the Docker machine. If you're interested in how we can create Docker machines, I have done a a full uh, tutorial course on Docker Machine. Uh, I can leave links to the description below for that as well if you want. Um, but here we have a Docker file. It's just, you know, capital D Docker file. And we can actually start building our Python container now that we can actually uh, have to create our Flask application. So the first thing we're going to do is define the base image, which in this case is going to be Python uh, 3. We're going to use the Alpine image. So let's do Python Python and then three or colon three, that's the tag. And we're go going to just have it straight from Alpine. So Alpine like so. Okay, I'm also going to put in a maintainer and we're just going to put in my name, but obviously if you're doing this yourself, you would put in your own. Um, that's fine. I'm just going to put it in a space between the two. So the next thing I need to do is actually create a home for our application. So I'm just going to create a new folder in order management. I'm just going to call this app. This is where the app is going to live. And of course, the app is going to be built in Flask. We're also going to have a requirements file. So we're just going to type requirements, requirements. Uh, and it's a text file .txt. that is going to have our dependencies in it of obviously one of which is flask. So all we need to do here is type flask like so. If you want, you can add your version and I'm just going to double check what the version is. Bear with me just a second. Um, so I believe the latest version of flask is 1.0. 0.02, I think that's correct. So let's just do 1.02. So we're just going to equal that. Uh, we don't have any spaces in between here. So that is the package of pip. Um, and then that is the version. So flask 1.02. And actually that's 1.0.2 um, because that is the Symantec versioning. Let's hit save there. And then let's go back into our Docker file. So now we can actually run this and we're going to run this through pip. But of course, what we need to do is actually copy 
this app folder into our Docker container. So let's do that now. Let's type copy and then let's put in the app directory into slash app. Also, what I would like to do is change the working directory as well. So work dir to be slash app as well. So when we're inside the Docker container, we are within that working directory. That working directory has been enforced, has been changed for us. Um, so when we go into the Docker container, we are straight into slash app. After the working directory, of course, what we need to do is actually run um, the requirements file to install all the bits and pieces through pip. So let's just put in some room here. And what we need to do is have a run instruction. We're going to call pip because that's the command that installs the, uh, the packages for Python. We're going to do install. We're going to do minus R and we're going to supply the path to the file, the requirements file um, that we have just created. Now, this is going to run because we've set the working directory to be slash app. Um, so we, we know that we're already in this here. So therefore requirements.txt is on our current, uh, current path or it's in our current working directory. Of course, if I was to put this um, here, for instance, I would have to, and remove that, I would have to put in the full path to slash app, then requirements.txt, but we don't need to do that because we've already set the working directory up here. So anything that happens underneath this, any instructions that run underneath this um, gets ran in slash app. I discuss so much more about all of this uh, in my Docker in Motion course. If you haven't done so already, do check that out. I'll put links in the description below as well as in the cards and so forth. Um, but if some of this is looking a little bit weird, you know, what is Docker and why am I focusing on Docker in the first part of this, this tutorial series, then do check out the Docker in Motion course because that will give you more of an insight as to how Docker can be used to create and manage our applications. So anyway, let's get back to it. Now, normally you would have an app.py file within the app directory and you would run that as soon as you run the container. Obviously, we don't have one set up yet. I'm not going to set that up in this tutorial, but what I will do is I will expose uh, port 80, okay? Because I, what I want is for this to actually run on port 80. We're also going to uh, supply a command. This is the initial command when the container is running. Um, and we're going to supply Python as the first argument. And this would be where you would put um, the app.py file because you want to run that file within this. And yes, I think uh, I think what I will do is create this just so it does flow. So app.py. Um, that is the file that we need to run. And of course, it's going to be within the app working directory, which means that we need to create our app.py file. So what I'm going to do is just create a simple app.py in here, like so. Now, I'm not going to fill this out just yet. We're going to be looking at this in the next tutorial and actually creating or start the initial creation of the Flask app. But what I'm going to do, of course, is just test out the Docker file that we've created. So this is the Docker file. It's going to be running app.py or py here. Uh, we have installed um, everything from the requirements.txt, which is in here, which has Flask 1.0.2. Um, don't worry about the virtual environment uh, too much at the moment because this is going to be done within a Docker container, not within our current, um, you know, local environment. Before we do build this image, let me just double check a couple of things. I don't want this to just suddenly break as soon as I do it. So it's from Python uh, 3 Alpine. That's fine. That's the tag. That is the the, uh, the image. That's okay. We're copying the app. I'm just making sure the spelling's correct. App, app. That is the app directory. We have the app.py, which is what we're going to be running. That is currently empty. There's nothing in here. Let's just double check that. That's fine. Um, also, we're going to install, or we're going onto the working directory, which is app. So we're going to be running the next instructions from uh, this folder, which is okay. 
we're going to be installing requirements.txt, uh, requirements.txt, yep, that's fine. In requirements.txt, we should have flask, and that needs to be a double equals symbol. So that is the package. This is the version 1.0.2. And then what are we doing? We're exposing port 80. That's okay. We probably won't play with that today. Then we're going to be running the command Python. Um, Python, that needs to be spelt correctly, obviously, Python. And uh, we're going to be running the app.py file, which is just the empty py file here. Okay, that sounds, uh, looks pretty, pretty reasonable. Let's go, go ahead and actually see if this runs. So now those bits and pieces are in place. We can now create our Docker image from the Docker file that we've just created. So what I'm going to do, we are in the terminal here, uh, which, by the way, is iTerm. I'm using a Mac here, so I use iTerm as my terminal of choice. What I'm going to do is just do an ls to ensure that we are in the right place. So we have the Docker file. Uh, we have the app. Uh, directory and we have the virtual environment don't worry too much about that just this second so we're going to do a docker build um, and we're going to tag it with the tag of order uh, system I believe I think that's probably the easiest thing to remember so order system and we're going to give it the current context that we wish to build that is going to run the docker file so if i press enter here uh, it's going to grab python 3 the alpine version pull it all down download all the layers and all the bits and pieces again if you uh, you want to learn more about docker do check out the docker in motion course here we're going through the uh, the app folder we're pulling out the requirements from the requirements.txt and we're installing Flask and at the bottom hopefully yet fingers crossed it has successfully tagged it as order system so now if I type docker um, images like so we should see that we have the order system and we have Python, uh, the Python base image. Okay, so the next thing we need to do is create ourselves a container from this Docker image and ensure that all the things have been installed correctly. So what we're going to do is create our container and I'm just going to simply do Docker. Let's just clear down the screen to make some room, first of all, and let's just do a Docker PS hyphen A and we shouldn't have anything there, which is fine. Let's now do a Docker and it's a run, we're going to do hyphen D because we're going to do it in detached mode, hyphen hyphen name, we're going to give it the name of order hyphen sys. Um, what else are we going to do? We can do some ports perhaps, although I'm not going to worry too much about these. So 80 and then 80. Again, if you want to know what these arguments are all about, do check out the Docker in Motion course. The image that we wish to use is order hyphen system and we are going to well by default it's going to create or run the app.py file in the app directory we're going to run that against python however i haven't that's just empty so that will fall flat on its face as soon as it runs so instead what we're going to do is we we should be able to have access to bin and then bash, so the bash terminal. And what I'm going to do is instead of running in detached mode, we're going to do hyphen I hyphen T. Uh, that should bring us into the the actual command line within the, the container. So this should create the container, hopefully, if it works, and then we are we should be able to be within that container running bash. So let's press enter here. And of course we have an error. So the error here is that it's unknown, can't find the bash. Perhaps it's sh maybe. Let's go and try that out. First of all, let's clear down what we've done. So docker ps hyphen a, that would have created a container. Um, and that, let's just go and remove that. Um, whoopsie. Of course, 
what I've just done is RMI rather than RM. So there we go. Let's just press up a couple of times to get the command back. Let's try SH because what I want to do is actually get into the container, which we have done. So we're now in the app directory. Again, remember, we had the working directory in the, the Docker file, uh, which means that anything that gets ran against this Docker file starts from slash app which means if we type ls, we should have the app.py file and the requirements file. If now we type Python and then hyphen hyphen version, we should have 3.6.5. Okay, so we have 3.6.5 version of Python. Um, and we should also have, if I did a cat of the requirements file, we have our flask in there uh, as well, which is awesome. So in the next part of this Python series, what we're going to be doing is the initial creation of the Flask application that I'm going to be creating for the Pact Publishing course. That course is all about microservices. And of course, I need to have a system in order to talk about microservices. And that is what we're going to be initially building here. So do check out the tutorials when they come through on this YouTube channel. And of course, if you want to learn microservices, if you want to learn how to create, configure, design, architect microservices, if you want to learn how to monitor and how to secure microservices, then do check out that course from Packet Publishing. Thanks ever so much for watching. Happy coding, everyone. I'll see you again soon. Cheers. Bye.